Hey everyone, this is Michael Manor from the T4 Show, and today we're going to take a look at a pretty unique product called the Prop and Go from PaddedSpaces.com. Now, the prop part of Prop and Go sort of gives it away. You're going to be propping stuff up on this product, but the Go part we're going to get to in a little bit, and that could be why that has that little blue zipper there, but you'll have to wait to see what that's all about. So, anyway, we're going to take a look at this, and by the way, this version is the micro suede version and it's also one of three models this is the prop and go all-in-one the top of the line the mac daddy of all three models but there's two other good models the regular prop and go and the prop and go light and we're going to go through the features of why this is called the all-in-one prop and go so first and foremost it is a micro suede suede version there's another version a uh, fabric version that's up there and we're going to turn it around because this would be where I would put it either on my lap or on a surface. So as you can see here, there's two non-slick surface things right here. And also you see there's a little separated part right here because it has 14 different viewing angles for whatever device you want to put on here. So if I wanted to have it all the way up here or if I want to just have it a little bit propped up right there, it's good. Now, what I think is pretty cool about this, and I'm gonna take out the, go from the Evo View 4G from Sprint to the iPad, then I'm gonna put my MacBook Pro on it. So, if I wanted to do a video review of an app or something with the View 4G, I could pretty much put it in an exact angle that I want, even if I wanted to put it back one more, to give it a correct viewing angle for a video review so i can see a definite use in that right away because the flat tabletop is not conducive for the camera angle that i'm trying to get so this actually would have been pretty good last night on the live show to review blogsy so we're going to put the um the ipad up here and do that and open up blogsy and you can see this way i'm not holding the device it's not shaking and i can do a lot of different stuff with the video review and i see a definite use in that also a great use for this would be if you want to watch something like air video on your ipad in bed calm s and i share all our videos so i was watching a movie last night and i you know i wasn't able to get a great angle with the smart cover i had to hold the ipad with this i can just put it on my lap or even on my chest and prop it all the way up as i lay down whatever angle i want one of the 14 angles would be fine. So we can even start it up here. I wasn't watching P90X in bed. <laughs> All right, and there we go there. You gotta turn the volume up. Visit Wowie, the online super gym. Log your workout to track your So I can definitely see a use right there as well, another use for it. Also, I'll open up Blogsy again. I can see myself typing on a particular angle on the virtual keyboard if I wanted to. Let's go to the right side keyboard comes up I could type right there as this sits on my lap so definitely a productive use for the prop and go now we're gonna try something a little bit heavier I got the 15 inch MacBook Pro here what I'm gonna do is put that down flat because obviously I don't want to prop it up anymore but this would serve to be a very good laptop cushion and keep my lap cool from the MacBook Pro it tends to heat up a little bit sometimes so that fits perfectly there and also the non-skid parts here keep it from slipping off Ben actually up on his YouTube channel actually uh, was twisting stuff 30 degrees with the prop and go I'm not gonna take a chance with my stuff on that just yet I don't see myself tilting this thing on purpose to try to tip it over so um, but anyway that's the prop part of it but part of the go part is pretty interesting as well so I'm gonna turn it over here and show you that you actually have a pocket here that you could put something like an HTC View 4G or even better, I could put my iPad in there. And that's great. But am I gonna hold it underneath my, underneath my arm and carry it around? No, because I have a unique part of that too where this turns into a backpack. And when I saw this, I thought it was totally cool. So 
Actually, you know what? Let's back up the camera and let's try it out and turn it into a backpack right now. Before we make it into a backpack, I want to show you an interesting little thing here. There's also a little accessory pouch where I could put all my cables right in here and also even a cell phone. So that makes it even more of the go part. I'm going to zip this up a little bit. There we go. Now, to make it into a backpack, I would just take this around here. You need to prop it up a little bit. Obviously, you won't be standing up like I am while you're doing this. All right, there we go. You have the Prop and Go logo right there. And then just pull on the drawstrings. And you have a backpack right there. Very easy. I mean, you can put them over both your shoulders if you want, but I choose not to do that. I like carry my backpacks like this. So that's about it. This is the Prop and Go all-in-one. They have the Prop and Go regular model and the Prop and Go light. You can go to paddedspaces.com, and that's about it. You'll be seeing this a lot more, especially for iPad 2 or other tablet reviews uh, to give it a better viewing angle. So thanks again to Ben, and thank you. Best luck in all your future Prop and Go endeavors.